items that if we pass them, we're scrubbed for the day. One of the main one, uh, one of the main ones is that it's pretty much just under 11 million pounds of prop setting on that thing right now. Uh, we can actually recycle in about 24 hours now. Again, a lot of ambitious things on the plate for Starship today. T minus two minutes. New ship, new year, a lot of upgrades, doing a lot of ambitious things in space this time, <laughs> our first payload deploy. The folks on console are continuing to evaluate the launch commit criteria. T minus 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. We have liftoff. Vehicles pitching down range. Six ship engines getting ready to ignite. That's going to happen while we're still attached. That is incredible news. We just heard the call out for booster uh, right, engine Nico. cut off. Engine startup. Most engines cut off down to those Stay middle three. Boost back front startup. Looks like we have 12 of those 13 engines uh, ignited. Uh, we're using the engines that actually gimbal. We so are go for booster return. We're looking good for that so far. Some great views there from the ship of Earth. That looks incredible. <laughs> and in the meantime, you can see those grid fins there helping to control the vehicle and guide it back to its landing site. Booster FTS is saved. Now with that, we're going to hand it back. How's it going over there, Dan and Kate? How are you doing, Kate? Seeing that in person. Um, <laughs> <laughs> you know, uh, Dan had to take that entire segment because I couldn't talk. That was there incredible. It, there it is. We can see the booster coming back in now through the plume. At least it looks that way to us. Um, it's incredible that it basically returns. It looks like a speeding, um, just Ship like this silver flare uh, coming back to the, the, once again, we are standing by for uh, 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 attempting to catch the booster at the tower. This would be the second tower catch. Booster landing, landing burn. burn. See it, 13 engines. Booster now hovering as it aligns with the tower for catch. Booster coming in. Get down ready to, for that boom, Kate. Down to three engines. Booster ready for check out. Megadora has caught the booster. And for the second time, a successful catch by the launch tower. This is the same tower, the launch pad, where that booster took off from just seven and a half minutes ago. Great view from the Balls chopstick up. arms looking at those hypersonic grid fins that steer the booster for that precision landing. We, we did lose all communications with the ship. Um, so, I mean, that is essentially telling us that we had an anomaly with, with that upper stage. Um, so we were just coming up to the end of that ascent burn for the ship uh, when we stopped until, or when we um, started to lose uh, couple of the engines we saw those dropping out and then we did lose uh, telemetry from the ship so that means we didn't have contact with it so at this point we are assuming that the ship has been lost um, so uh, as we were checking in on the status of the ship at this point in time we can confirm that we did lose the ship um, however starship uh, the total vehicle did have uh, an on-time liftoff at 4 37 p.m central time from the launch pad just behind us at starbase texas uh, gorgeous ascent and successful stage separation the booster uh, pushed the ship off and or, sorry, the ship disconnected uh, during that stage separation. The booster came back for a successful, the, six, the second ever booster catch uh, at the launch tower, which was pretty incredible to see. Yeah, it was great to see the booster come down, but uh, we are 
obviously bummed out about ship. Uh, it looked like we lost contact with it a little under eight and a half minutes into flight. That's roughly when you start to get to that main engine cutoff. 